I can summarise Major Mayhem in a single sentence. It's Time Crisis for touchscreens. The problem is you probably haven't heard of Time Crisis, so allow me to explain. Major Mayhem is a cover and fire on the rail shooter. There's no sophistication to this. You shoot stuff, stuff shoots back at you. You kill or be killed. Kill everything and you advance, but get hit three times and you die. Your character will always start behind a piece of cover that protects you. But to shoot at enemies, you have to tap on that part of the screen. However, the moment you do this, you come out of cover and you are now vulnerable. It's fast and frenetic with multiple enemies always taking pot shots at you. You will usually get a graphical indication that an enemy shot will hit you though, as a red circle will surround them. So that does give you a tiny bit of time to get back into cover. When you take your thumb off the screen, you stop firing and drop back into cover. Occasionally, white scientists will appear in the field. Make sure you don't shoot them because they will either replenish your energy, give you money, or special abilities such as this Matrix bullet time mode. Each of the classic mode levels last about two to three minutes, so it's fantastic snack-sized gaming. And yet again, the seven inch size of the Nexus is perfect. On a smartphone, it's too small to shoot accurately at stuff. On larger tablets, your thumbs can't reach the middle of the screen. But on the Nexus, all the proportions are absolutely spot on. This game, like many games these days, encourage you to go for achievements, of which there are loads. Achievements give you extra currency, which allows you to buy new clothes, supplies and weapons uh, from the store. Along with the classic story mode that consists of 45 levels of action, there is also a time attack, survival and arcade mode. This is another incredible free game that's ideally suited to the Nexus 7. And of course, if you like this, you'll absolutely love Time Crisis. The only trouble is you'll need a PlayStation 1, a light gun and a copy of the game. You'd best get onto eBay for that.